Peace, Nicholas back in the house today for another video, of course. Today we have Q4OS. So, yeah, done quite a few of these. Q4OS. This is version 2.3.5. It's 64 bit. It's based on Debian Stretch and it comes with a Trinity desktop. Now, Trinity, if you don't know, is like old school KDE. Really, really old school, as you can see. So, we're going back in time. Back in time. So, I've installed it from the live CD, okay, because it comes as live media, or you can put it on a USB key. It's entirely up to you. Once you boot from the live CD or installed it, you do get a welcome screen. And this is what you get. <clears throat> so you can run a desktop profiler, install applications, install your NVIDIA drivers and all your old multimedia stuff. It does it all for you. Set an auto login, switch to the kickoff start menu, which is a bit different from this one, and turn on desktop effects. Okay, I've already done that, so I don't really need to do that. So that's your first screen, so I'll get rid of that. As you can see, it's very, very, very clean. If I right click a desktop, Get the certain commands here, open a terminal, paste to your clipboard, icons, windows, refresh your desktop, configure your desktop. Should we have a look at that? Because it's a bit blue, isn't it? A bit blue. So if we click there, we might be able to get something. Right, so we can change the background here, the behavior, multiple desktops, screen savers, and your display. So I don't really like Q blue flat. Okay, so we're going to go to, should we try the bay? What's the bay like? No, 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 no. We'll change it to storm blue. That's, now, where have I seen that one before? Okay, about that one. There's quite a few here. Landscape. That one will do. So we're going to apply that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's a little bit different. I'll have to change this bar down here, though, because it's just too grey for me, so I'd have to change the theme. But I'm not going to do that right now. So you, you all know what comes with it and how fast it is. It's pretty fast, okay? Pretty, pretty fast. If I go down here, and I go to, where are we? Applications. Programs, and we run down to, I'll tell you what, accessories, system, we'll click on and open HTOP for you. The CPU is doing nothing, it's using 275 meg of RAM. Yeah, just 275. Obviously, once you open a browser, that's going to go up. Yeah, well, of course it will. So, what I'll do, I'll just minimize that and we'll open Google Chrome, which comes as a default browser. I've added all the extras, by the way. You get the option when you install it to add different extras. Otherwise, it only comes with Conqueror. Okay. So, we've opened up Chrome. Well, it's doubled the RAM usage near enough. Not quite, but near enough. But you've got to expect that. So, if you're going to play a video on the tube, you're going to hit around about 7 800, aren't you? Which isn't too bad. Bearing in mind, this screen is 1080p. So, I won't really worry. So, if we type in the tube, which is already there, it comes up reasonably fast. Yeah. And if we go to me, so we can quickly play one of mine, so we're not breaking any laws, of course, because we wouldn't want to do that, would we? No, we wouldn't want to do that at all. And let's go down to uh, this whole Slacko one three years ago, two weeks ago. That one there. We'll go to an old Solus one I've done. Yes, you still get the ads. Even when I'm doing videos, it's terrible. Wait for that. And we skip that. Plays reasonably nice. Can I get into a bigger resolution? Of course I can. We'll go straight to 1080p. It plays fine. Bigger screen. Even better. It looks really good, doesn't it? And I've not even installed the extra drivers yet. I don't know. It's blimey. That's how good it is. So Chrome comes with it. Okay. Thunderbird for your Mao as well. VSL Media Player and the full LibreOffice suite. I'll open the suite up for you. While it's doing that, I'll have a bit of drink of water. Mmm. Because it's not really drinkage time at the moment, is it? No, it's a bit too early. Open up the spreadsheet. When it feels like it, boom, there you go. That's reasonably fast, isn't it? I've only given it two gig of RAM, by the way. I've not given it no big loads and loads of RAM. You don't really need stuff. The CD is about 690 meg to download. So it's CD size, not DVD. So that's good too. What do you actually get with it? I hear you cry. Or should we go to the control center first here? Control center. Bring it back. So I mean, it's really old school. Really old school. So sound and multimedia, system admin, TD components, peripherals, set up your printers and everything else, of course, and appearance and themes, basic sort of stuff really. Not as big as some of the other ones you would get on newer distributions, but hey, what, what do I know? Hey? What do I know? Applications, we're up to programs again. Right, accessories. Everything seems to be under accessories, by the way. Uh, edutainment, you get mathematics and science. If I go to science, what do we get? It's just a LibreOffice math editor for formula, okay? So it's no big deal about mathematics. Same again, not too much. But remember, you can actually install whatever you like here. It doesn't really matter. Under graphics, 
Gwen view for image viewing, colour paint, all K stuff as you can see. K snapshot for screen capturing, just a snapshot, not a video. LibreOffice Draw and shot well for your photos, so it's not too bad, is it? Multimedia. Yeah, K3B, which is one of the best of the bunch, of course. A recording tool, a volume control for your pulse audio and VLC, as I've seen shown already before. Under Office, you just get LibreOffice, really. Uh, anything else? A tab document viewer down there and an organizer, okay, which is K organizer. I wonder why. Then your basic settings, etc. What games do you get? Uh, only the basics, basically. Only the basics. It rhymes, didn't it? Only the basics, basically. But on the whole, it's really nice to use. Now, if you want to install something, okay, we have Synaptic for you to play with, okay? So it needs my password, of course. I've already really loaded all the packages earlier because I've done a little bit of play. Now, I tried to find the Steam installer. But I think I'm going to have to enable a different repo, really, to get that. Because not all the repos are here. I've got Steam devices, but not what I want. So whatever else would you like to find here? Well, can we see... Hmm... I don't know. OBS, would that be in here? Or do I have to install that from external? Let's have a look. It might be here. It might not. Ooh. It's quite a bit down there. So if we go all the way down to O, we might get something. No. Ah, did I see it there? OBS is there. Uh, is that the one I want though? Yes, it is. Look. It's there, server, the studio is there, and everything. So if I go to here, yes, everything is here. So if I click that, mark for installation, mark, I can apply that. So should we go and do that? Yes, let's do that. Apply. Three new packages. Not too much stuff, so let's apply that. And see how fast that goes. Zoom. That was quick, wasn't it? Have another drink of water while I'm waiting, and we'll see what it's doing. Actually, I was quite surprised that OBS was in the repos here. I really was. Right. Changes applied. Close. Now, once this is done, will that be in the menu or will I have to restart? Who knows? Let's have a look. And where will it be as well? Because I just don't know. Go to pro new application. Ooh, OBS. Let's have a look. Yes, it's all going well. Mm, yeah, lovely of the jubbly. So yes, you can do basically anything you want on here, and it's really light and quick. And if you like the old style KDE desktop, like I do, sometimes, not all the time, all depends on what mood I'm in, you're going to like it, okay? So yeah, Q4 OS, nice, super duper, sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later, bye bye.